MASS stands for the mo a model of architecture serving society. We're a mission-driven organization. Our own mission, and we think that every project needs one too. And like, when you start out, it needs to be there and everybody involved needs to be bought into it. We started in uh, a country called Rwanda. It's a great place to have landed 10 years ago. And we, we went down there and spent two years to design a hospital together on the kind of good faith that we knew what we were doing. Um, and this is what it ended up looking like after two years of you know, a lot of time spent together with Partners in Health, again, built the first oncology center in the region. And now this is currently in construction. Uh, people are coming from as far as South Sudan to get cancer treatment in Rwanda. And we have two hospitals now, two more hospitals. Uh, one, this is downtown Kigali getting built. So begin to see small steps, you know, and, and in a market that recognize the value of design and, and where it can take you. We were asked by the African Wildlife Foundation to uh, help them design and build a school, probably the most remote part of Africa, if not the world. That kind of method leads to, to impact. So how do we actually prove this? How do we prove to our donors that we're, that we're doing something with it? So if you're having impact, how can this project change the mind and the expectation of an area of what they expect of architecture? <clears throat> we were invited to Haiti after the earthquake had hit. It's not just the earthquake, but the cholera epidemic that followed it. We designed a building where it's all captured on site. The water, the rainwater is collected and it's dealt with on this underground cistern that maintains it and does not allow it to spread and people come and actually get healthier and leave. So our mission uh, is to build and research and advocate for an architecture that promotes that. Not just for like us as an organization, but us as a series of professionals. What was exciting earlier on is you said you want to have emotional impact and that's not properly reviewed. If in all our conventional projects of designing a home, designing a school, designing an office, the client said, and I want positive emotional impact, that, that, that might drive design differently. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. But maybe yeah. you can propose it. Yeah. Working in a low resource context, such as Africa and Asia, is both a blessing and a curse. Overcoming that barrier through design by designing something beautiful with those materials that looks modern is actually quite a task. And it's gr a great task because several times already on recent projects had to overcome it and has come out much better than it might otherwise have. Our mission is to bring design to everybody. Um, design is a right, beauty is a right, and you should have access to it. It should not be something for the privileged. Finding every way through any project to make, to give the maximum back of your ability and your design skills to people that are going to use it every day. Thank you. You're welcome.